step one of basement reno. That's right. Operation Get Frugal Fit Mom an office is underway. And part one is to repaint all of the basement so that we can get the boys into the proper rooms and get a office for the wife upstairs. The good news is I talked her out of getting new floors. <laughs> so we're going to leave the carpet and all these floors that she was looking at are no longer on the table. Um, but we do have to paint all of the trim and in today's episode we're going to go over how I've been painting the trim and the doors and we'll focus specifically on the doors. We moved into this house about seven years ago and the house was painted with two tones. Really this darker trim and door color and then the walls as you see them here. And we've been trying slowly but surely to get rid of it. <laughs> but it's been taking a long, long time. We got the first floor done in the first two to three years and we've let it sit. And so as part of this project to get everybody shuffled around, we're gonna focus on trying to get the doors and the trim painted. So I wanted to show you what it looks like with the old and the new side by side so you can get a real feel for how dark the actual doors and trim were. And if you look here really closely, you can see how terrible the paint job was. They did this really fast, left all the brush strokes, gobs of paint in some places. It really just wasn't done well. So we're trying to redo all of it so we get a really nice finish. It makes my wife want to barf, okay? And this color, this white, is just so clean. We've got old and new all over the place. I'm trying to get through. But even the ceilings were painted this wall color right up here. The ceilings were that color and we've changed everything into white. The doors have definitely been taking the longest. As you can see here, you can really get in and see how bad the paint strokes and the finished job was. And so we're spending a lot of time really sanding this down. We're starting with a 60 grit sandpaper and moving to a 150 grit sandpaper, trying to get as many of those big strokes and nicks off as much as we can. We're even using a little wood putty and maybe some plaster, some wall plaster to get everything smoothed out as much as we possibly can, wherever we can. Here is the secret to getting our white doors. We've used this Sherwin-Williams Pro Classic paint. This is an interior acrylic latex paint. Um, really meant for a smooth enamel finish for trim and doors. And we've gone with the pure white color. And it's pretty beautiful, but we found that in addition to that, we have to use a little bit of this Floetrol. So this eliminates brush and roller marks. Uh, you add about eight ounces of this to a gallon of that paint and stir it up real nice. And then we roll it. So this is the way we roll. second coat. This is primer. So you can kind of see side by side what they look like. This door right here just got its second coat. Even though it's got two coats on there, you can see it's still going to need at least one or two more. So after a week of doing one door at a time, one side per night, I decided to set up an, a whole assembly line. So what you see here are uh, ice chests and boxes and a couple saw horses. And what I did is I took about two hours and primed and put three coats on each of these doors and they ended up looking great. You can see here, this one's a little bit wet, but as you go through, you can see the finish is much different. You don't see the big brush strokes that we had before. And I've really just been pretty pleased with how it turned out. The next morning I flipped the doors over and finished the other side. And by the evening, this was the finished product. I set them out here to cure. And as I get here nice and close, you can see the texture and the finish of these doors looks much better. That Floetrol and that enamel finish together really turned out great. You can't see any of those lines and it covered really nicely, but I would expect it to cover uh, really well after that many coats. But I'll just say, you know, it's not a professional finish, but it's about the best that I can do. So I've really been pleased with it. And they're done. I got all these doors all finished. Uh, one, two, three, four, five doors. Not to mention six and seven in the closet in there. So seven doors done in two weeks. Uh, I got four of them done in one weekend. So that was a huge accomplishment. Let me show you what they look like nice and close. All right, as we come into the back hallway, you can see those doors are done. 
Still got some work to do, but there's all the doors. And then we'll walk into this back room. And there are those doors. And don't they look great? I only have one, two, three more doors left and I'm all done. So <laughs> it's been a process for seven years and I can't even tell you how excited I am to be that much closer to being done. And hopefully things will be done in the next week or two. The process for painting the doors was very similar to the process for painting all of the windows and the trim work at the baseboards. We started with the primer and then we rolled and brushed in any of these uh, cracks that we couldn't get into very well with the brush, uh, especially as we got alongside the window itself here. We did take out the blinds up here. So you can see that, I had to get all that out. Um, but it took about the same amount of coats to do all of that. Let me show you what we did with the baseboards. With the baseboards, we started off by taping and tucking the tape underneath here as best we could. And you can kind of see, I can hide that line pretty well with the carpet, but when I pull the carpet back a little bit, you can kind of see where my paint line is. So what we did is we tucked the tape down in here with a putty knife as best we could. And then we actually put tape about two layers wide so that we have lots of extra protection over the carpet primed everything really good, and then painted our two to three coats on top of the baseboard with the roller. The same way you saw me do it with the doors in the garage. Uh, the difference was that we just would go around and around and around as fast as we could on the baseboards. Just allowing about 20 to 30 minutes in between each coat to give it enough time to dry. Getting a bigger picture view inside the bedroom, I just gotta say how much I love the clean lines of the white trim against the gray walls. It just turned out spectacularly. Not to mention the white ceiling, but that's a video that Christine's done already, so. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.